Okay, welcome to another episode of Geeking Out on L Bracket Alternatives. No, that's not a thing. But recently, I reviewed this horizontal to vertical bracket from Small Rig that basically serves as a replacement to the traditional L brackets that we've been used to for the past, I don't know, decade or so. And there have been a lot of reactions about them. And of course, many of the questions are basically comparing them to other variants out in the market. I am yet to get hold of other variants such as the one from Atoll, the one from Sunway Photo, and I believe there are also other manufacturers that have created their own versions. Luckily, our good friends from Nisi Philippines were kind enough to send me this Nisi Wizard W63. Automatically, one of the bigger benefits of this one compared to the small rig one is the fact that there are variants available for other cameras and other brands. The W63 is the one that's fit for Sony cameras. And basically, the biggest difference would be the size of the ring because generally, Sony lenses are smaller. Now, before anyone even gets to start using them, the first question that people ask would be, when is small rig going to come out with other variants? And I've been asking them about that, and all they've said is that they are on the way. But for now, they only have ones for the A7 4, A7R5, A7R4, and A7S3 because the bodies of those cameras are very much similar. Now, the one big difference between the small rig and the Nisi is that this is actually fitted onto the bottom part of the camera, which means that it covers the entire bottom part. And the thing is, it also has this hole for the battery door. So that's why there has to be different variants even for cameras of the same brand because they want the bottom plate to really fit onto the bottom of the camera. This one from Nisi only comes with basically something that looks like a typical tripod plate. And as you can see, it does not cover or it will not cover any other parts of the bottom of the camera and definitely not the battery door. So that on its own, it's a huge difference. Number one, it does not entirely cover the bottom part of the camera. So if ever, say your camera falls and the bottom part hits, it will not be able to protect the other sides. Now another difference and probably a benefit would be the difference in compatibility. The fact that this plate does not really cover the entire bottom of the body, it is actually more compatible to many different cameras. And the fact that also, this screw basically moves forwards and backwards to accommodate for any adjustment that you might need. Technically, this plate or this whatever you call it can actually fit any camera with a lens that fits onto this hole. Now, in relation to that, of course, another difference between the Nisi Wizard and the small rig bracket would be the weight. Now, I do have a coffee scale here to help me determine how much lighter this is, but automatically we can assume that this is lighter because there's actually less material. Now, this one is 126.4 grams. And this one from small rig is 183 grams. So that's basically a 50 plus gram difference. Does that really matter? Well, it's really up to you. Now, one thing we have to take note of is also the material. Initially, I really like the material of the small rig version because it's black. And basically, I like black on my camera. Now, one thing I really noticed about this black matte surface of the one from small rig is that it tends to somehow attract some dry skin on my hands. Maybe my hands are too dry. That's on me. But it does leave sort of a powder when it comes to coming into contact with dry parts of my hand. Another difference that you might want to take note of is that as I said in the past review, there is a 
button, a push button on the small rig that basically extends the button to unlock your lens. And the one from Nisi does not come with that. However, another nice thing to take note of about the Nisi Wizard is that you can actually adjust the height of the camera plate up and down if you need to, if you have to, say, adjust it for whatever camera you're using. Now, when it comes to mounting the accessory onto your camera, a similar thing about the two of them is that you would have to remove your lens. And I'm just really confident to do this in front of the camera because, again, I have the A7R5 and I have the shutter closed to protect it. Now, when I first attached this Nisi Wizard, I made the mistake of just locking it all the way in before attaching the lens. Now, there is a bit of room to, to adjust and basically, just like how it is right now, it does not seem to fit. Now, apparently how you're supposed to do it is you just simply latch on the screw just enough to keep it, you know, a bit attached, but still with a bit of wiggle room on the camera. And then you mount the, the lens on the camera. This way, you're able to properly align the bracket onto the lens before you finally tighten it. I know it's an extra step generally, but it's not really a bad thing because it will also help you secure the lens onto the camera and the bracket as well. Of course, it comes with this hex tool that is magnetically attached onto the bottom of the plate. Now let's talk about the aesthetic of the Nisi Wizard. Now basically, this particular variant of the rotating bracket is unique when it comes to the aesthetic. You know that it's the Nisi Wizard whenever you see it from afar. Not like the one from Small Rig, no, the one from Atoll, the one from Sunway Photo, that you can basically mistake for one of the other two when it comes to seeing it because they all have the black aesthetic. Now, it doesn't really mean that it's better, but again, it looks unique. But personally, I would like to see other colors from all these other brands just because it's also a way to kind of personalize your camera. And to be honest, even if I've had this for more than two months, I've been using my orange L bracket from Stable Gears just because I really like that orange color. And yeah, that's basically it. So as a general recommendation or maybe request to all these brands creating these rotating brackets is that you might want to make more variants and more color options just because I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna like that anyway. Now to show you the biggest edge of the Nisi Wizard, in, at least in my opinion, I need to show you first how the small rig version works. Now basically we have a knob here similar to the Nisi Wizard and unlocking that will allow you to rotate the camera from horizontal to vertical. And this is basically the entire range of motion of the one from small rig. So now we have the Nisi Wizard and what we're gonna do is unlock the knob and rotate it similar to what the small rig can do. But the thing with the Nisi Wizard is actually there is kind of an unlimited range of motion when it comes to the bracket itself. The thing though is that since this camera has a bit of a hand grip here on the right side, I cannot really rotate it further clockwise. And that is basically because the hand grip is coming into contact with the base of the bracket. But if say for example, you're using what, a Sony ZV-E10 or another APS-C body, a Sony A7C, it doesn't really have this bulky hand grip that I actually love about the A7 IV. So technically, you can rotate it all the way 90 degrees clockwise so you can have the screen pointing upwards. With the A7 IV, it is still limited, but with a camera without the hand grip, well, it has more range of motion. Now, in addition to the range of motion, let me show you, well, this. 
again, as I said, this basically does not have any hard stops, but it does give you a bit of a tactile response with a click. So if you move it like this, you will feel where you should stop basically because it's telling you that, okay, it's already at 90 degrees. Now, while it wasn't able to really rotate the other way because of the hand grip, one thing that you can do if you're using a tripod with a horizontal center column like this one or one that can be inverted so you can kind of make it lower, what you can do is this. So basically you can rotate the foot like this so you can attach the camera. like this. So for example, you need to shoot from a lower angle. That can actually help you if you spread the legs of the tripod a bit lower. And there we go. This is again the Nisi Wizard W63 for Sony cameras. They also have the W72 and others, I believe, for the Canon, Nikon, and Fujifilm cameras. And probably also compatible with other camera brands as well. And there, that is our review and kind of a comparative review to what we kind of set as the unofficial standard, at least for this channel, because this is what I've already reviewed, which is the one from Small Rig. Now again, those are the benefits and the limitations of both. And technically, it's totally up to you which one you find to be more beneficial to your shooting style. But also generally, the Nisi is just around $10 more expensive as the one from Small Rig, which is, I believe, depending on the offered convenience for you as the user, it will be negligible when it comes to the price difference. Now, if you have any questions or reactions or maybe some additional insight, then do leave them down the comment section. Of course, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I'm a landscape and architectural photographer. And of course, in this channel, we geek out on landscape architectural photography and all the gear and all the tools that we use. If you're into that, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that we can be good friends. And basically, thank you for watching.